Hi students, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. I am Clinton Clement, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, Don Bosco College, Kutia. In this lecture, we will be discussing about the impact of taxation on project loans and foreign aid. Before moving on to the impact of taxation, first let us see what is project loans. Project loans are the loans availed by corporate borrowers for the purpose of capital expenditure, including setting up of a new and additional manufacturing facilities, construction, etc. Project loan in the way the corporate borrowers project financial requirements in a way data edicum the loan animal project loans in the way and the way data can code the lavery project loan edicum the capital expenditure meet and other put you manufacturing unit to set the angle additional facilities add and construction activities in a way other than the capital expenditure meet the chair and it or corporate borrower avail the chain the loans in the animal project loans in the area but if project loans provided by the government, there are some benefits which may include fixed and subsidized interest rate, no credit history checks, allowing deferred payment, flexible income based repayment plans, no repayment penalties and partial loan forgiveness. In case one corporate sector ne loan provide chain the government hana thanda gil. Itta thele government provide chain na project loans ne valare adhiya benefits ondo. Palle reedi la benefits ondo deshi ke na the fixed and subsidized interest rate. Aa loan ne levi ke na interest rate ne palle reedi la subsidies levi ke aala charges ondo. No credit history check. ई और एक लोन लेबिक ने रे उम्बे करते हैं माया उटला क्रेडिट चेक को अतरे फॉर्मेलिटीज़ ओन्नु मिला दे ने लोन अवेल चिया एंड पेटम अलाउंग डिफर्ड पेमेंट पेमेंट पाला रीडी उला डिफर्ड आर उला रीडी ले पेमेंट फैसिलिटीज़ आरेंज ये एंड पेटम फ्लेक्सिबल इनकम बेस रीपेमेंट लोड्स लोन रीपेमेंट ले अवर ए इनकट ने ऐसे चीज़ फ्लेक्सिबल आर उला रीपेमेंट ऑप्शंस प्रोवाइड ये बेटम नो रीपेमेंट पेनल्टीज़ एंड पार्शियल लोन फॉरगिवनेस पाले रीडी उल्ला सब्सिडीज़ ले बिकान साइड होना ये रू लोन डे कोर्चे अमाउंट डे गवर्नमेंट डे विड्रॉ जी आला चांसेस हम अंडर अतर ते ले एक प्रोजेक्ट लोन प्रोवाइड चीन ना तो गवर्नमेंट आने गिल आवर कॉर्पोरेट सेक्टर ने पाले अधिक हम बेनिफिट्स कूर दे रहा Project loans give some tax benefit to the investor. इतने दिले investors ने project loans वाली पाले रीडी उल्ला tax benefits उन्नड़ आवर डा. But एक government आने corporate sector ने loan provide ये देंगे कोड दल benefits उन्नड़ आवर डा. Government loan provide ये ब्रांड. Project loans government corporate sector से provide ये ब्रांड. इतने कोड लो benefits उन्नड़ आवर डा. Now let us see what is foreign aid foreign aid refers to the voluntary transfer of resources from one country to another this transfer includes any flow of capital to developing countries foreign aid ennadu kondu udheshikkunnathu oru country il ninnum mattu edengilum oru country ilekku resources ne transfer cheyyunnathana nammal foreign aid ennu paraya ithrathile transfer cheyyunna resources ne udheshikkunnathu capital flow adhayathu oru developing country ke developed alla developing country adhayathu once oru underdeveloped il ninnum developing aayi kondirikkunna country il avarku avashyakaramaya resources capital mattu resources enna reethiyile oru country il ninnum mattu oru country ilekku transfer cheyyunnathana nammal foreign aid in the barrier. Foreign aid is a financial aid given by government and other agencies to support the economic, environmental, social and political development of developing countries. One developing countries in the economic development, environmental development, political development, it is the total total developing country ile upliftment in vendi it matu countries ile government um financial agencies um provide cheyina financial aid financial support ne aanu nammal foreign aid ennond udheshikkunnathu foreign aid can be defined as an aid expended in a manner that is anticipated to promote development whether achieved through growth or other means oru developing country ile ओवरऑल अपलिफ्टमेंट ने वेंडी इटे आवर कामुशिकर का माया एड फिनैंशियल एड आवाम मटे रिसोर्सेस वाली योला एड आवाम एलाम प्रोवाइड चेंडे ना नामल फॉरेन एड एंड उदेश्य की ना 
Now let us look into the different forms of foreign aid. Foreign aid in the form of loan. It is the transfer of money, property or other material goods from a party in one country to the other party in another country. Edengilum reedi orla money, property and material transferred from one party in a country, or a country le or a vikti le nindam, matchuri country le matchuri vikti le ek transfer cheyina money, property and other materials in the reedi na na mal foreign aid na nundu udeshi kina. It may be in exchange of future repayment of the principal amount along with interest and other financial charges. Or a loan, or a financial support. ഒരു കൺട്രിയിലെ ഒരാൾ മറ്റൊരു കൺട്രിയിലെ മറ്റൊരാൾക്ക് നൽകുന്നതിനാണ് നമ്മൾ ഫോറിൻ എയ്ഡ് ഇൻ ദ ഫോം ഓഫ് ലോൺ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ലോൺ ആയതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ അതിൻ്റെ റീപേയ്മെൻ്റ് ഉണ്ടാവാം പ്രിൻസിപ്പൽ എമൗണ്ട് റീപേയ്മെൻ്റ് ഉണ്ടാവാം ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് റീപേയ്മെൻ്റ് ഉണ്ടാവാം അതുകൂടാതെ പല ഫിനാൻഷ്യൽ ചാർജസും ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് ചെയ്യപ്പെടാം ഇത്തരത്തിൽ ഒരു കൺട്രിയിൽ നിന്നും മറ്റൊരു കൺട്രിയിലേക്കുള്ള ലോൺ സപ്ലൈനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ ഫോറിൻ എയ്ഡ് ഇൻ ദ ഫോം ഓഫ് ലോൺ എന്ന് അറിയപ്പെടുന്നത് A hard loan is one where the repayment of the aid amount should be in a foreign currency. നമ്മൾ ഒരു കൺട്രിയിൽ നിന്നും മറ്റൊരു കൺട്രിയിലേക്ക് ലോൺ പ്രൊവൈഡ് ചെയ്തതിന് ശേഷം ആ ഒരു ലോൺ റീപേ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ അത് ഫോറിൻ കറൻസിയിൽ തന്നെ റീപേ ചെയ്യാം എന്ന കണ്ടീഷൻ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അതിനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ എ ഹാർഡ് ലോൺ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് എ സോഫ്റ്റ് ലോൺ ഇസ് വൺ വിച്ച് ദ റീപേയ്മെൻ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ എയ്ഡ് ബി ഇൻ ഹോം കറൻസി ഓൾസോ സോഫ്റ്റ് ലോൺ ഹാവ് Lenient terms such as extended grace period, low interest rates, etc. One is soft loan in the world of the country. Repayment is the home currency. The home currency is the home currency. The home currency is the home currency. That is the same as soft loan in the world of the country. Terms and conditions are lenient. Grace period is extended. Interest rates are lenient. In the same way, there is a lenient terms of the loan. We are the soft loan in the world of the country. Foreign aid in the form of grants. A grant is a non-repayable financial assistance, contribution or gifts given by a government or an organization for any specific purpose to an eligible recipient. One country in the government, one country in the country, one country in the country, non-repayable financial assistance loan pole illa repay cheyanda interest illa just oru financial assistance oru contribution allengil oru gift ennu venengil parayam ithrathil provide cheyinadana foreign aid in the form of grants ennu parayunnathu ithrathil eligible aayittulla aalkarkku mathrame ee foreign aid grants ennu rupayane nalgaarullu grants are usually conditional upon certain qualifications as to the use maintenance of specified standards or a promotional contribution by the recipient. If there is a grant provided, there are conditions. If there are qualifications to meet each other, we have a recipient. That grant is how we use it. We maintain a specific standard. If there are a standard to maintain each other, we have a contributor. If there are a recipient, we have a proportion of contribution. Foreign aids are under the reason. Foreign aids in the form of loan and foreign aids in the form of grants. Primary forms of foreign aid in project financing. Project financing will include the primary forms of foreign aid and the KNA and the anomaly discuss here. At first, foreign direct investment. These are the investment made by multinational or transnational corporations of one country in another country. One country is a multinational corporation and a transnational corporation which is an investment in many countries and we call foreign direct investment. Foreign institutional investment. It means institution established or incorporated outside India which proposes to make investment in securities in India. India की पोरत फॉर्म चेंज दे रही है ना अलग अलग इनकॉर्पोरेट और निल कोर्डल फिनैंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशंस इनकॉर्पोरेट ही चेंज दूँ डे इंडिया ही रोल्ला सेक्युरिटीज़ से ले इन्वेस्ट चेंज किया अलग अलग आदमी आने फॉरेन इंस्टीट्यूशनल इन्वेस्टमेंट ने बनाया ना एक सिंगल इन्वेस्टर अल्ल ഇന്ത്യയിലുള്ള സെക്യൂരിറ്റീസിൽ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അതിനെയാണ് ഫോറിൻ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷണൽ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഫോറിൻ പോർട്ട്ഫോളിയോ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ഇറ്റ
made by non-resident in Indian securities including shares, government bonds, corporate bonds, convertible securities, infrastructure securities etc. That is a foreign investor, or non-resident, Indian Allah or non-resident, Indian securities pile different types of shares and they have a portfolio that is created foreign portfolio investment in the Varina portfolio in Atha, shares on Davam, government bonds on Davam, corporate bonds on Davam, convertible securities, infrastructure securities, and a complete portfolio than a non-resident Indian securities create a animal foreign portfolio investment in the Parayana. Now let us see what are the impact of taxation on project loans. One project loan available in the body and the tax benefits on down under in the book. First, wavering tax liability. The fees, cost, and other payments which would have to be paid by the project company to a public sector entity is waived. One company public sector entity pay chiarola fees cost and other payments either or work it up or a project loan available in the body or a project company nalanda pala regular payments fees cost it at the payments alarm or waki leviki public sector and would call it at the payments alarm or waki leviki tax holidays it is given for women entrepreneurs and projects starting in backward areas Women entrepreneurs in backward areas lo all projects starting in a way that is one tax benefit ana tax holiday nu deshi tax holiday nu endadu kondu deshi kinnathu or definite period like tax in ninnu olvaaki koduka adayathu itrathulla backward areas ne uplift cheyan vendi adinte starting period alengil korcha naalathekku avarku tax payment venda enna reethil ela kodukkunnena nammal tax holidays ennu deshi kinnathu reduced tax burden Interest on project loan is a revenue expense and it can be deductible from the profits. It helps to reduce the burden of taxation. One company available to the product loan pay the interest that is revenue expense. That is why it is profitable and correct. That is why it is a tax burden. Reduce it and help you. That is why we have to pay the profit of the tax. So, this is the revenue expense. If you pay the project, you pay the interest. The revenue expense is the profit of the tax. That is why you pay the tax burden. Tax benefits. Tax benefits are given to mudra loans provided by the central government. Central government provides the mudra loans available in the project. वाले different types of tax benefits available हैं सारे के government subsidies there is no tax for the subsidy given by the central or state government government subsidies ले भी चलो project central आलंग के state government इन्दे subsidies ले ले भी चलो project ने याद रहे बुदा tax उम pay चेंडे नहीं ला इतना दिन आना एक project loan available चेंडे वाली उन डाउन ना tax benefits अब इन दे क्लास ले इन दा आना प्रोजेक्ट लोन इन दा आना फॉरेन एड इन दा ने कुछ डिस्कस ये दो इतर तले लेबी किन्ना अलग इतर तले अवेल चे इन दा प्रोजेक्ट लोन अलग इल फॉरेन एड वरी उन डाउन ना टैक्स बेनिफिट्स ने कुछ डिस्कस ये दो अब इतने बेसिक उन डाले क्वेश्चन चार दाने रीकिन्दा what do you mean by प्रोजेक्ट 